Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Chris, you've got mail. Indeed I do. Every day I get mail. Whether it's junk mail, eh, bills, eh, money, woohoo! And every once in a while I get people or companies sending me products to review, to look at, and to share information about uh, with the rest of the community, you out there watching this particular video, at least. And those are always uh, fun, I would say. Surprising, sometimes. Uh, every once in a while, they just show up out of the blue, as was the case today. I got a little envelope, um, and I opened it up, and there was some paper. I'm like, oh, okay, paper, woo! And, and then this tin. I'm like, cool, they sent some mints along. That's going to get my attention, because after drinking four gallons of Pete's coffee this morning, I needed mints. And I opened up the uh, little tin only to realize, oh, those aren't mints. They're little plastic doohickeys. So then I went back to the documentation again. I was like, what the heck is this? And then I see this little stop symbol on one of the pages. It says, stop jerking. <laughs> Uncle Sam here says, stop jerking. And then the website's listed as jerkstopper.com. I was like, what the heck is this, right? Well, apparently, uh, this individual, uh, Bob Crossman, had come up with a, a way that you could use an unused port on your notebook computer to help tether or to tie down your power cable. And I don't know if this has ever happened to you before, but uh, sometimes you'll trip, you'll accidentally move your hand, the power cable will go flying, and it, unfortunately if it goes flying the wrong direction or if it's not ready to move, uh, then you could damage your, uh, well, power cable and or the port through or into which your power cable goes, uh, which is expensive, if not absolutely irreparable. Uh, so he came up with an idea uh, to uh, make this little, like I said, plastic, uh, it's not a device, it's just a, a it's, well, it's a jerk stopper. That's, that's really what it is. Uh, it comes with different adapters. Uh, there's one that'll fit inside an unused network port, an RJ45. Uh, then it's got an RJ11. I don't even have an RJ11 port on this particular laptop. And then one for USB. He actually recommends the either the RJ11 or the RJ45 because there's a locking mechanism, uh, whereas USB you know, it, it slides in and out just as easily, or in theory, as easily as a power cable might, whereas it's using the like the network cable with the little you know the click that goes you know that thing that goes click and it's in there uh, it would keep it more secure so what you do is you slide one end off put the power cable into it or rest it inside then slide the other part onto it and now I've got my power cable pretty much it's, it's it ain't going anywhere it's not moving anywhere and if I accidentally nudge the power cable now instead of it possibly flying out it's going to stay in place because it'll the, the tension sorry my my tin is rocking and when the tin is rocking don't come a knocking and definitely don't come a jerking i know it sounds bad but again this is a jerk stopper so it will keep or help keep your power cable in place so you can remove it when you're ready to remove it uh it's uh it, this is the the neat thing about uh, you know, inventions, you know, necessity is the mother of invention. And, you know, he had enough issues with damaging uh, power uh, ports in the past that this made sense. And I guarantee that for 995, it's going to make sense for a lot of you out there as well, especially if you, you're in a lo location or a place where you always knock your power cable out. Uh, you don't want to do that. Never yank something away, uh, especially at a, a distance. One thing I do appreciate in my, my MacBook Pro, at least this particular model, is that it's the magnetic uh, power cable. So it snaps right in, and bang, it's in. And if I accidentally jerk it or pop it out, which I have done, uh, it doesn't damage anything, or it hasn't in the past. And I've damaged someone else's power cable by, uh, I stepped on it, that, that wasn't a, a good thing. I don't think a jerk stopper would have stopped that. Well because I was a jerk for accidentally stepping on it. But I replaced that power cable, and luckily the power port worked just fine. So, whew. 
Um, you know, you can think of anything, uh, any any use for this that you've got a cable that you're constantly jerking on or accidentally jerking on, or if you want to make sure it is not going to get jerked out. Um, there's, uh, as I said, uh, the availability. Uh, in, it comes in a little kit, ten bucks. You've got one for a network port, uh, a modem, or a phone port, or USB. It could be used on any any one of those ports anywhere. I mean, where, where I mean, you could even plug it into a wall if you wanted to for you know whatever reason. Maybe you wanted to string the cable along. That's not necessarily what it was designed for. But you never know uh, what anybody is going to want to use the jerk stoppers for. So, uh, yeah, I was pleasantly surprised. A uh, very low-tech uh, invention that is certainly going to save you money, potentially, if this is an issue for you, mission-critical issue, potentially. Um, it's cool stuff. So, Bob, thank you for sending it to me. Uh, I'm certainly going to keep these things around, um, you know, I especially if I know that I do not want one particular cable to move and I've got one of these ports open or available to me uh, pretty close to uh, where that power cable is going to be strung along. So, uh, yeah, my uh, mailing address uh, is accessible from our chat room at live.perillo.com. I'm not sure how Bob found the address, probably by doing the same thing. If you come in here and you type in what is sticker or what is stickers, it the the bot will respond with our mailing address and the reason why it responds to what is sticker is because people are asking about lap, like laptop stickers and whatnot and if you'd send a self-addressed stamped envelope we've got a few that we can send you uh, I can't send jerk stoppers of course because I've only got you know three and I'm going to keep these on hand uh, because accessories you know it's when you don't think you need them that's when you need them. And when you don't have them, that's when you got to have them. Know what I'm saying? So, uh, it, you know, I've got an email address, too, uh, in case you, you know, don't want to go through the hassle of coming to the chat room. Uh, Chris at Perillo.com is how you can get a hold of me. C-H-R-I-S at P-I-R-I-L-L-O. That's P as in Peter, C as in Chris. It's kind of, I know, stupid. I could say C as in cat, but I'm not really a cat person. More of a dog lover kind of guy. I mean, in a strictly Oof! sense. <sighs> Chat room is open all the time. We're typically talking about uh, technology, hardware, software, gaming, uh, tips, tricks, help, resources, sharing information with one another. And uh, usually we're, uh, we're having a good time, I'd say. I mean, everybody's been interacting down here, hopefully playing along despite my uh, many hiccups tonight. It's okay, it's fine, it's real life, and you can watch it unfolding right there within your browser, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.